one of us was out of town uh, when the beta for this game was available. Yeah, Ray, where were you? <laughs> I was making a character. To um... Oh, wait, first I've got to do the... Uh... What's happening? This is the creator character. I sped it up to 800% because... It's a bit slow. Yeah, I know, bro. Sorry about that. Um, uh -huh, I was just playing uh -huh. with all the different options. I thought it was interesting you could make uh, a female margin that's... Oh, a bit of hair clipping there. Uh, the male margin looks exactly like Boo. And the female that's a lot margin of options for just... a beta. Yeah. I, once I noticed this hair, I thought, that looks kind of goth. So I'm going to try and make a goth margin. So I tried to make her super pale and then gave her all black clothes. I'm digging it. And this is interesting, you can choose a different combat style. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but um, I decided to go for um, close-up combat with roses here. Um, okay. And each Slug house? That's Margin Boo's house from Dragon Ball Z. Can't remember, it looks like a slug house. Yes, it does. So, I mean, I never finished the Margin Buu saga. Yeah, I didn't... I think I barely even touched it, to be honest. I got into it, but it just kind of kept going. And, wow. um... I think I was in uni at the time, so I just... <laughs> I'm just waiting for, like, you know, the little dragon ball to fly and I go, Hey, listen! <laughs> this looks like Patrick's house from Spongebob. <laughs> the big pink dude in it and nothing in it. <laughs> Mom. Elmo, don't agree! <laughs> Elmo says bad touch! <laughs> What's going on? What is it, Boo? What this word means? You know what's going on, son. Let me see. Wait, what are you reading? Where did you find this? <laughs> Please slap him in the crotch. <laughs> look at his look at his animation in his face. You just see the big teardrop. It's the money shot. You shouldn't be reading this. Alright, so the long loading time still exists. It's a beta. Like I I'm not gonna begrudge them for that. I am. So here we see the hub world. Is this in game? Yeah. It's a lot nicer than the first one. I never really played the first one. The first one's, well, from what I played, it's not this open, it's not this detailed. The hub world is pretty big. I don't know if it's um, that... Like, a lot of it was closed off with invisible walls. There were a lot of things that were like, uh, you know, come back in the full version. It really felt like a, like a shareware version or like um, uh, when you get like a limited demo. Yeah. They don't really do demos anymore. So I just started running around exploring the hey, hub listen. world a bit. You just find stuff randomly lying around. Um, Can you not fly here? Uh, at the beginning, no. Yeah. You have to unlock the ability to fly. Why does that Namekian have a mohawk? You leave Fishman yeah. alone. The toxic Avenger Fishman. It's a bit of everything, actually. Yeah, he's... It's like, pick one thing and stick with it, dude. No, pick a low. Pick a low one <laughs> thing and... <laughs> it didn't work, but it was awesome. I like that the Margin, like, have hair, even though their hair is, like... The part Simpsons? Of their head. Yeah, actually, it's very Simpsons-ish. Yeah. Like, this one has a ponytail, but that's, like, her Like, head. if she got a haircut, would just blood shoot out <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Except all the margin are, like, Oh, I want it with sweet bangs! <laughs> <laughs> I really like that big dragon in the background. I thought that looked really cool. It kind all... of ominous, like it's gonna mess you up any second. I see you taking a <laughs> shit! <laughs> I have one wish. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Your wish cannot be granted. <laughs> Look at my big rosy cheeks. Yeah, I know, right? I love Japan so much I got the flag tattooed God on my face deck twice. It. <laughs> <laughs> have you been to the Great Decket Tree? Uh, look, hey, listen. I'm not going to go there, <laughs> alright? 
<laughs> Jace. <laughs> From Space Australia. Space Australia. What? You suck. I was kind of hoping she would do like a Hulk Hogan, like, you know, wind up and then. You're no dragon. <laughs> Curses. Curses to you too. A lot of options. You unlock more as you go through. I thought now it's time to actually get on with some, um, combat and stuff. So, she kind of gives you tutorial missions and then he kind of gives you story missions. Fair enough. Yeah, so you, I missed a lot of the basic stuff, but I thought this is kind of... Oh, it's the same as the first one. ...what the basic yeah. combat looks like. Which is fun, you know, it's uh, very intuitive to get into. Light and heavy attacks. I really like this character's um, charged attack. What's you happening? Ever, you ever played Michael Jackson's Moonwalker? Of course I have. You know that bit where you do an attack that makes everybody else on screen stop and dance? Hell yeah. Yeah, this game has that too. I see you're, you're about to die. Yeah. You're about to die. I'm not gonna die. You're about to die. No, I'm not. You're about to die. If it was any other Excuse level... Excuse me, I'm talking to Tom. <laughs> well played. That was so Time bad. Patrol. So what exactly is your job? Uh, you have to go through policing time- like, have you seen Time Cop? Of course I've seen Time Cop! Have you people seen Time Cop? If you haven't, you should. It's probably one of the best Van Damme movies ever. Easily top three. Easily, yeah, I'll agree to that. Well, it's bas you're basically Time Cop. <laughs> Just doing the splits everywhere. <laughs> There was a lot of nudity in that movie. You're basically Time Cop, but um, in Dragon Ball. Because I didn't get too far into the story, but there's uh, someone's messing with time. Like, you'll see an example of it here. Raditz's supposed to get hit at this point, and then he glows purple, his eyes flash, and suddenly he's stronger and faster than he should be. So is that where he's supposed to die? Not where he dies, but where he gets injured. Right. My shares have gotten to the roof on the <laughs> stock exchange. Go watch Time Cop, it'll make more sense. Nobody saw that. Stop talking and fight. Well, they've said that many times in Dragon Balls at the bridge, like Piccolo will say something like, I really feel like we should be stopping this. Yeah. And Goku will be like, nah, come on, it's polite. Eh, uh, new pig. <laughs> <laughs> and Raditz goes down easy, as he always does. I don't know who you are, and I don't know why you're here, but defend me with your what? <laughs> Get stuffed! It's Dragon Ball logic. The ultimate finishing move, a full Nelson. Even though we now have an extra person helping, I've still decided to get killed in the process! It's the wrong beam and it's the one that puts clothes on them. <laughs> Where did... Just over here. Uh, I'm, I'm over here, sir. Hiya! Yes! Job well done! Dun oh. dun dun! What is that? An owl? That's an owl with a beard. It needs, it needs. If owls shave. could really grow beards, that would be the most awesome thing in the world. It's like metal as. That is metal as anything that has ever existed, including metal itself. Okay then, you've got to be bored half to death after listening to his. Oh yeah. Nobody likes a tutorial level. This is where it links to um, the first game. Normally you import your character, but since I didn't have a character to import. Oh, it does all that stuff, does it? Cool. Yeah. Um, and your character from the first game... It's funny, because when was the first one? Was it even 12 months ago? 
About a year, I'd say, yeah. Since I didn't have a character to import. Like, the, the character from your first game becomes, like, the legendary hero, so you don't actually control them directly, but yeah. they're in the game as a story character. That's pretty cool. And since I don't have one, you just choose from one of the... Um... Freezer race? They must have an actual name. I've heard them called the Frost Demons, which I thought was a, a good name, but... It's better than Freezer race. I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, Can they mean, like, and... the Westinghouses? Well, they were called Freezer... <laughs> they were called Freezer <laughs> Clan in the first Fine, game. they're the LGs. Since it's, it's an anime game, um... I should go with a schoolgirl. Why? Schoolgirls always save the world in anime. Is it, uh, is it supposed to be like a Nimbus? Can you get a Nimbus? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's I great. was kind of testing to see if that would work, and clearly it did not. Yeah, the parallel quests are you kind of like... more? <laughs> the parallel quests are kind of like, um... Not story missions as such, but they're kind of, uh... Losing what conditions. <laughs> The losing condition was all participants have their health reduced. Like, yeah. That's... I mean, like, they die? Yeah. Well, we don't use the D word in this, in oh. this game. They all... They all get destroyed, or they all get annihilated or obliterated. But the destroyed started with a D. You said no D There word. are lots of words that I didn't say... They're all death! <laughs> hey, Vegeta! 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 That's in this game. <laughs> that's awesome. They actually got the guy to come in and record saying, Vegeta? And when you go up to NPCs, they say that. I don't know what this Yamcha is, but it sounds disappointing. I always felt bad for Yamcha. Like, the very first episode of Dragon Ball I watched was the beginning of the Cell Saga. Uh, the Android Saga, so... Of Z, though, because when I watched Dragon Ball, original Dragon Ball, he was oh, yeah. my favourite character. Um, well, that's because they... Like, I started on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, like, so did I, though. I kind of came to the show uh, pretty late, like they were up to the Android Saga and I saw they were about to start a new saga, uh, they were advertising it on Cartoon Network, so I thought this is probably a good point to jump in and, you know, see the beginning of the story. And uh, the first episode I saw was the one where the old man android and the fat android show up. <laughs> and so you see this guy, like he's part of the team, he's all buff and everything and he's flying around, and the first thing he does is, oh that's the wolf bank this to finish him off. The first thing he does is he gets shredded. He gets a hand through his chest. Yeah. And from that point on, he basically kept getting owned constantly. And I just felt bad for him. But all of those original Dragon Ball characters became that. Look, there they are. Yeah, now, now it's... It some... is us. We're here. And we're just going to hang back and not do anything and wait for Goku to turn up. Fake death is one of Yamcha's moves. What? Why is Nappa just... See having... there in the corner? Oh. Fake death. Who's having a nap off? Huh? Huh? I'll show myself out. Yes, please do. Hello adventurers! Thank you so much for watching, and sorry for the delay in getting this episode out. We had some technical and some organizational issues to work out, but that's all dealt with now. We've already recorded a bunch of new episodes to come. Uh, we've got a vlog up, and we're going to have some more coming soon. Uh, we've already got a few existing episodes, of course, so please uh, check them all out. Let us know what you think, and let us know what you thought of this episode. Let us know if you liked it, or if you thought it was the Dragon Ball Xeno worst. Huh. <laughs>